So what I want to talk about in regards to flipped assessment is this idea that when you have a knowledge domain and with uh, you have a number of people who are studying or learning within that knowledge domain and you have novice learners and master learners who are currently engaged in, in deepening their understanding of a particular subject or, or a knowledge domain as a whole. Um, so they're actively working in it and the ideas and thinking around a knowledge domain I is quite current and, and fresh in their minds. Um, we also have a, a group of people uh, sort of known as seasoned learners or teaching assistants or, or people who are, are quite entrenched in the subject matter or the knowledge domain and, and can be very helpful and provide mentorship. So a seasoned learner may be somebody who's who's got an expertise in it, maybe not formally educated, uh, um, but they're sort of self-directed learners and, and they're, they're an expert in a subject domain. Uh, teaching assistants may also uh, provide support um, of professors or universities where they're also available to help um, people, either they're master learners or novice learners, uh, within understanding a subject domain. We also have sort of professors and experts uh, who are also available, but usually they're a little bit further away from the actual engagement and, and discussion around a certain subject within a knowledge domain. Often they will provide excellent guidance and mentorship uh, to both the sort of the teaching assistants and the seasoned learners, um, but sort of the hands-on effort uh, may not be as great as it is with other learners or teaching assistants. Uh, there's also on the tertiary here is really what would be considered the interested learners or people who are maybe more lurking and, and starting to, to assess uh, a subject domain and, and starting to poke at it because they might be interested in learning more about it. So the idea of a flipped assessment is, is that you get the novice learners engaged more in assessing those people who are further down the learning journey than themselves. Um, there's a benefit to this is, is that the master learners can reach reach at back to the to the novice learners who are trying to understand things and and a great thing about teaching a subject is it often really helps you to understand a subject but also the novice learners are getting insight into what the learning journey ahead is and and what what the what the subject matters of study or, or the writing and the research about a certain subject area and by looking and assessing uh, somebody who's on a similar learning journey just a few steps ahead meaning you've got a novice learner assessing a master learner is kind of a, a flipped assessment and, and sort of facilitating that and, and, and having having a, an approach where where we've got novice learners assessing the work of somebody just a few steps in and because they're so close together in a learning journey there's this ability to sort of do a peer-to-peer -peer assessment uh, around a, 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 a contained subject area um, where both parties are invested um, in, in successful assessment where the master learner really needs to reach back to the novice learner and, and help them understand uh, the writings they've been doing in the subject area where the novice learner is also invested because they need to learn more and assist the master learner to get through um, the program and, and in the situation I'm talking about here is that what I've done is I've take this flipped assessment approach and I've applied it to a uh, P2P U course that I've created, Bad System Design. And and what we're doing here is is that we're using a flipped assessment where there's a number of tasks within the P2P U course where where during uh, a third the, an earlier task, you actually have to reach forward and, and evaluate the task of somebody who's almost completed the whole course. And also there's a part of your assessment where the, the, the master learner reaches back to the novice learner and has to encourage them to assess their work. And there's a dialogue that's created between master learner and, and, and and um, novice learner and again that happens twice in the course where you've got in the next step they also have to uh, evaluate uh, the task that's further de further ahead uh, the night thing is is that the way that we've developed these tasks is that they're related to each other so there is benefit to both uh, the master learner and the novice learner to to be assessing somebody else's work but also to be assessed by another so that's the idea of flipped assessment and and how we have um, built it into this P2P U course. Um, looking forward to running this uh, experiment to completion and, and uh, look forward to seeing opportunities of flipped assessment uh, maybe gain greater acceptance.